Hello and welcome back to another Raycontor video, and today's video is an excuse for me to complain and you can't leave a bad comment about it because I'm being self-aware and abusing satire. Subscribe, but before we get into it, a quick word from today's video sponsor. Wait, don't click off. If you want to know how you could win $1,000 in Robux or an iPhone, stick around for this sponsored segment. And today's video is sponsored by The Sandbox. The Sandbox is a free community-driven game that's similar to Minecraft or Roblox. With currently over a quarter million concurrent players, The Sandbox allows you to play user-generated content and also has partnerships with over 400 brands that you might know, such as the FaZe Clan. And also, Snoop Dogg? The Sandbox also allows you, yes you, to create whatever type of game you want. Platformers? Funny dungeon games? You can make whatever you want in The Sandbox. Sandbox also has character creation in a system similar to that of Roblox, which a lot of you absolutely play if you're watching this video. Every time you buy items, you own and you can even sell that item to other players, just like Roblox Limiteds. You can create, buy, and sell all of your digital goodies in the sandbox, and they are all yours. Creating games in the sandbox is also super easy, and you don't even need to know how to script or code. Using their no-coding toolbox allows you to make games and publish them for everyone to play super easily, and you also get to pick the base and landscapes for your games. Not only that, but the sandbox is giving away $1,000 in Robux or an iPhone to some of you lucky viewers who use the link in the description and pinned comment down below. To enter the giveaway, all you need to do is use the link in the description or comment section down below to download the sandbox, and then you need to use the sandbox game maker to create and publish an experience. You can do this in less than 10 minutes and it's really easy, and once you do it, you'll be automatically entered into the giveaway. Three winners will get $1,000 in Robux, while 10 runner-ups will receive $50 in gift cards. The giveaway will end soon, so don't miss out and start building your own game in the sandbox today. And if you want a chance to win, make sure to use the link down below to download the sandbox today for free. Now back to the video. Fist users, shadow users, flame users, anyone who says good luck in the beginning of a time conflict match, anyone who uses medium weapons, people who gank freshies but aren't good enough to fight their guild members, people who attempt to join my servers whenever I choose to play this god awful game so they can bother me, anyone who uses light weapons of any type and crits more than twice per fight, anyone who uses contractor, anyone who uses eclipse kick, anyone who uses contractor with eclipse kick and spams equalizer, archmage, and his stupid voice. Whoa, what's up, Brooklyn Age Gamers? The lack of actual content updates and the fact that everything in this game is either garbage or nerfed until it becomes garbage. Except for Eclipse Kick. Anyone who uses Hive Lord Tuberus for a PvP build. Anyone who bases a build off of an anime character. Sorry, Punchy. YouTubers who only complain about the game even though they don't play it, and a majority of their videos are made on the game, which is deep woke in wait a minute. YouTubers who make five 30 minute progression videos on a single mediocre build that could have been covered in a single 15 minute video. Supa, enough said. I'm joking. Anyone who asks you a question and starts attacking you before you can answer it. Oh my god! I fucking hate this shit. Oh, and lagging too, that's so cool. Stupid bitch. Anyone who ganks at the layer 2 entrance in the first layer of the depths. Freshies who randomly attack anyone they see. Freshies who ask for free stuff from any high level player they see. Freshies in general. Mid level players who talk about game balance as if they know anything about game balance and then proceed to use big words like algorithmically so they can sound smart and like they know anything about game balance when they don't. The moderation team. The development team. Gale Wind nerfs, Shadow buffs, The Golan from Genshin Impact, The Primordial Jade Wing Spear from Genshin Impact, The Hive Leader's Garments from Genshin Impact, <laughs> Weeb Shit, stolen from all of the following animes, The Devs advertising a lot of NPC dynamics, and yet the Etrians are an outright racist to any non Etrian player they say, despite the fact that the lore of Etrians is rooted in racism and xenophobia. Make Deepwoken racist again. The bird race, Tiran, is pay to win being the best race in the game with an infinite better glider and fall damage reduction. Good job, Rogue Lineage devs. Kaido teleporting and being really annoying to fight. Assassination combos, which, one shot, no this is not an exploit. People who play the game and are also shorter than 5 foot 10 inches tall, or if you're European, 178 centimeters. Anyone who has ever screamed or cried in a voice chat during a gank because they wiped a build or got gripped. I'm 
Mm, get I'm away, man. You're messing me up more than you're helping me. Oh, now I'm dead. Because he was keep on switching and I'm docked. And because I couldn't fucking pick me anything. Because you're not running your one deck was supposed to. What was the one thing I truly did? What was the one? you! Anyone who requests a restore when they didn't even get their build wiped. The restore system as a whole. Not being able to punish someone despite the fact that they missed a parry just because they pressed Q on their keyboard. Poor optimization. The devs are not clear with the community. Sharko movement. Primadon. Non-movement. There is no guild hierarchy other than owner and officer, and regular members. They remove the ability to make your own mantras in the beta. The fact that they released an unfinished game with no media ban, so everything was uncovered in a week, leaving us with no content to discover. That includes bells. Speaking of... All the bells. The fact that they purposely remove content from the game to release later because they're too lazy to make updates. Everyone with the tester role in their Discord. Everyone without the tester role in their Discord. Anyone with fan artist channel access in their Discord. Anyone who draws Deepwoken Rule 34. Anyone who draws Deepwoken non Rule 34. Anyone who has ever called Carlia or any other NPC Mommy or Daddy. The fact that there's so little content, some people make four whole videos on each individual part of an update for ad revenue. They removed item rarity names and replaced it with the stupid little stars instead. I want a celestial helmet, not a three star helmet. Not being able to find overworld ganks because of the chime of conflict. I can't do TF2 market gardens in Deepwoken. Oh, you guys see the fucking new one? That's just Deepwoken is skill versus skill, not power versus power. Voidwalkers, the progression, everything about it and all of it. The lack of a linear story. The lack of any story. Deepwoken, which drains the life of those who play it. Deepwoken, however, does not drain the fat of those who play it. In fact, it adds more. Deepwoken was sponsored by Metallica, but not Megadeth. You can't be a Viking with media maxes. You can't dual wield regular weapons to use them like a different fighting style, specifically with media maxes. Yes, I want to be a Viking. The entire trading community. Anyone actively ranked higher than top 500 in Chime of Conflict. Anyone who uses voice chat. I've been moving calm, don't know trouble with me. Damn. Trying to keep it peaceful is a struggle for me. Damn. Don't put up a six Anyone who played this game and is under 15 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who goes into my DMs making their Discord pri profile super obvious that they're a real girl and then they ask me to boost them because they're a girl and I'm a YouTuber and I'm supposed to be predatory. Anyone who asks YouTubers for build advice and help instead of just playing the game as intended and experimenting. Anyone who can't fight the Enforcer because they always get carried through the fight because they're too afraid to fight it for the first time. Anyone who uses an origin other than the Lone Warrior. The Health Bar. The Thirst Bar. The Ocean. Swimming. Anyone who runs into the nearest body of water during a gank. Primadon loot. Ferryman loot. The Lord Regent, who looks like a cheap BDSM hooker prostitute whore. Crit Blade. It's not very good, but still annoying. Aftercut. Curved Blade of Winds. Anyone who uses Railblade, not the weapon itself, but the people who use it are always just super annoying. Willpower as a stat. Light's Final Toll. Exploiters. Anyone dumb enough to BM in this game where everything is relatively easy to get. Rogue lineage players. Anyone who plays Deepwoken more than four out of seven days in a week. Anyone with an annoying teenage white boy voice who says bruh in every sentence. This is a reference to someone very specific. Anyone in the comments telling me I sound white. I'm not white. Any of the many Deepwoken players who think Ultra Kill is a bad game because of its graphic style. Fuck you. The guy who wrote the first quarter of this script and included references to things I don't understand, like Genshin Impact. This has nothing to do with Deepwoken, but I still hate it. And finally, anyone who calls a parry a perfect block. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out the Sandbox, which is the sponsor of today's video. You can use the link in the description and comment section to download it. And I hope you guys have a good day, and goodbye.